things are Thank you, Speaker. Different. Back to the Premier. Shockingly, that wasn't the most ridiculous comment the member made that day. <laughs> Lawrence Vindham is closing his butcher shop because he can't afford to operate in Liberal Ontario. And the member from Barry responds by alleging he is closing his shop and blaming the Liberals. Why? Because he's a progressive Conservative. She believes Mr. Vindham is going out of business because of some grand PC party conspiracy to blame it on the Liberals. That is absolutely ludicrous. Mr. Vindham is heartbroken because his former employees are without jobs weeks before Christmas. Her comments were disrespectful. They were shameful. Speaker, Mr. Vindham deserves an apology sure and an explanation. Sure does. We'd love to hear that right now. Thank you. Speaker, we are thrilled that there are small businesses and medium-sized businesses across this province that are thriving, Mr. Speaker. And in fact, there were a hundred delegates who travelled with us on our trade mission, Mr. Speaker. There was young one young man, his name was Chad Jakeman, Mr. Speaker, and he processes maple syrup. And he went to Vietnam with us, Mr. Speaker. He signed a deal in Vietnam to bring Canadian Ontario maple syrup into Vietnam, Mr. Speaker. That's a small business. And Mr. Speaker, we are doing everything in our power to support small businesses, Mr. Speaker. We are also we are also working to make sure that the people who shop at those small businesses, Mr. Speaker, the people who are the customers of those small businesses, can look after themselves, can feed their families, Mr. Speaker, and can actually and can actually yes, go into those businesses in Barrie and across the province and buy the products that those small businesses are selling, Mr. Speaker. Final supplementary. Thank you. Back to the Premier. The member from Barrie isn't alone. She might truly believe that businesses should close if they can't afford to oper under, operate under your government's policies. Her colleague from Mississauga Streetsville called the people who feel the impact of Bill 148 bad actor employers. Oh, nice. wow. The member for Beaches East York said they need to rethink their business plan. And the Minister of Labour said they should simply raise their prices. It's clear the Liberal policy is to tell business owners in Ontario it's our way or the highway. They don't care about the jobs these businesses provide, and they don't care if these businesses close. Speaker, how many more liberal, other Liberal members have told businesses in their ridings just to simply close their doors? Mr. Speaker, I really believe that underlying this question is another question, and that, that is, does this member and does this party support a minimum wage, Mr. Speaker, that is a living wage. Do you support $14 an hour, Mr. Speaker? Do you support $15 an hour? Because the reality is, Mr. Speaker, our economy is thriving. Ontario is leading economic growth in the country, Mr. Speaker. Now is the time to increase the minimum wage so the people who are struggling to get by, Mr. Speaker, actually can make ends meet. And I think that it's important that the party opposite make it clear to the people of Ontario whether they support an increased minimum wage or whether they do not support an increased minimum wage.